how is this actually implemented, you may now wonder. Well, often what we find is that finite state automatons, FSA, are used to implement regular expressions because it's rather efficient. But finite state automatons are not only implementations, they are also a mathematical model of computation. It's basically a machine that can be in one of a finite number of states, that's where it comes finite state from. How is it defined? Well, it's a list of states, the initial state and a list of accepted states. And then you have a transition table. So typically how does it work? Well, it processes characters or word tokens and accepts if a word uh, accepts a word if there exists a series of transitions from our start state to one of these accepted states. Right, so it's an implementation that we can use to match regular expressions. So internally we can represent a finite state automaton similar to a graph. So here we have an arrow that indicates the start state. States are basically nodes that are labeled. Here state 1, state 2. And then we have edges. Edges are the transitions. And on the transitions we write the symbol that is used to make the transition. So here we have the start state as 1. If we read a 1 from an input, we, we follow this edge and we go back to state 1. If we read a 0, we go to state 2. From state 2, if we read a 1, we go back to state 2. But if we read a 0, we go back to state 1. So now how can we match a word? Well, a word matches or is accepted by this automaton if we go to an end state. An end state here is marked with a double, um, basically with a double uh, circle. So state 1 here is an end because it has this double circle. And state 2 is not an end state. So if I read the word 0, 1, 0, I go back to S1. So this word would be accepted by this machine. So in fact, this little machine accepts any string B, where B is a binary number with an even number of zeros. Right? Because every time you read a zero, you get here to this state, and from this state you get only back if you read another zero. So that's why there has to be a number of even zeros here. Okay, so that is really what is meant here by this mathematical model of computation over here, in a more abstract sense. Right, um, so now what you can do, please check for some words if the word W is element of this language that is recognized and accepted by our FSA here. Here are some words listed, please try and check and try to make sure that you understand before you proceed with this little video.